Numbers and Ordinals, The Silent Heroes of English Determiners. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome back to our series on English Grammar Fundamentals. Today, we're diving into a particularly intriguing topic, numbers and ordinals as determiners. Whether you're counting apples or standing in line, numbers and their ordinal counterparts are there, helping you describe and navigate your world. Before we dig into the world of numbers and ordinals, let's remind ourselves what determiners are. Determiners are words placed in front of a noun to make it clear what the noun refers to. They include words like the, my, this, and yes, you guessed it, numbers. Numbers are a fundamental part of our communication. They tell us how many or how much. In grammar, they act as quantitative determiners. For example, consider the sentence, I have two cats. Here, two is the determiner that tells us the quantity of cats. Now, let's shift our focus to ordinal numbers. These are numbers that tell us about the order or position of something, like first, second, third, and so on. As determiners, they clarify the position or rank of a noun in a series. For example, in the sentence, she finished first in the race, first, is the determiner that indicates the position of the subject in the race. Practicing using numbers and ordinals as determiners can significantly improve your English fluency. Remember to consider whether you need to express quantity, use numbers, or position, use ordinals. Let's practice with an example. I see five birds in the tree. Number. He was the third person to cross the finish line. Ordinal. Thank you for joining us on this numerical journey through English determiners. We hope this helps clarify when and how to use numbers and ordinal numbers as determiners. Keep practicing, and remember, numbers are more than just math. They're essential determiners in our language. See you in our next lesson, and until then, keep exploring the world of English.